this is cool. Uh, what do you got in your store? Nothing yet. What do you got in your store? That's the worst store ever. <laughs> hey, yo, 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 everybody. Hey, get off my... Get, yeah, that's right, you better run. <laughs> Generic V here. Welcome back to another episode of Eco. That's right, I know. I know in the last episode I said... I said, you know what, fellas, I think I'm done here. Um, I, I talked with uh, the guys in the group, and also you guys helped out quite a bit with your suggestiones. Ooh, I got a little bit more meat. Hold on one sec. I can make five, great, okay. <laughs> um, you guys helped a lot, you, you know, uh, I was struggling with waiting on other people to make things happen, and uh, you know who we uh, like, I'm not going to rehash it. We all play at different speeds, and blah 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 blah. Um, and uh, and you guys were like, Jenny, why don't you just learn some of these skills on your own? And I was like, Well, I don't know. Why don't I? And so I looked at it, and it's actually pretty feasible, at, especially now. Uh, that we're learning so many skills per day, and we've actually unlocked a lot of uh, a lot of the the skill books. So, for example, let's go into our skill tree. Um, I needed to make gears, All right? So under smithing, like if I were or uh, research, if I were to go and try to learn casting on my own, that's what it was. I'd have to learn this one, and then this one. And then this one, and then this one, just to unlock it, right? So that's like quite a bit, 200, you know, 235 points or something like that. Um, but, and that's just to like get to that level. Instead, since that book was already learned, I learned it. And then all I had to do was upgrade like, oh man, it was like no, no points right there. And then, uh, you know, maybe 50 points and I learned a gear. Boom, done. And that's pretty easy, especially when you're you know, making almost 400 uh, skill points a day. So I learned how to make gears because I needed it. Um, I went through, even though I'm not uh, efficient or anything at it, I've learned how to, um, how to smelt steel. So in a pinch, I could do that. Um, and what else? Uh, like I went through carpentry. And so I did just the, the little bits of, of stuff for carpentry so now I can make my own lumber. You know, so just the little things and it really did help out quite a bit. Now that doesn't mean that I am not, you know, uh, depending on or, or interacting with the other guys. I'm not my own island. It's just that for the little things now I don't have to sit there and be like, ugh. Who's going to get me lumber roofs? I didn't just make my own lumber roofs. You know what I mean? It's the, We're all now at the at the deeper, darker end game type of stuff. So steel. Like steel is a big thing now. Um, so let me show you what I've done. We've got some exciting things. I actually researched a whole bunch of, in engineering, I researched a bunch of refining. And so now I'm able to make gasoline, biodiesel, plastic. Uh, I've got the petroleum refining speed and the efficiency, which is really good for me. Uh, this, I mainly made so I can make plastic. And so this is all gonna make sense here in, in a little bit. Um, of course, you know my factory, as it stands so far. This is the pump jack. Oh, baby. and. It is really nifty how it works. All you do is you put a barrel in, and barrels are kind of expensive, but over time, I'm actually getting more and more barrels. It's really, really cool how it works. Um, so this thing every 15 minutes pumps out a, a barrel of petroleum. And so as you can see now, I have 128. Plus I had some other ones. I gave, uh, I gave Cube 20 of them. Um, so he could learn electronics, so that's coming pretty soon. I think actually he may he may be recording a video today, so you can go check out his channel, Cubulus. Um, go check out his channel and see if he's got anything going on. 
Um, oh, and then up here, boom, this sucker is the oil refinery. And I'll show you the things that it makes. So you can make biodiesel out of tallow. Tallow, oh, and I can actually make a couple. Hey, all right. So I'll make, I'll make one. Uh, oh, I don't know if I have enough power. Probably not. One charcoal only lasts a minute and 40 seconds. It's crazy. Uh, but I can make gasoline and, and then I could make epoxy, but that's for an electronics person. So that would be like a cube, unless I, I learned a little bit of it. Um, so that would be cube that would use it and then plastic. Um, right now, this stuff doesn't really do anything. So like biodiesel, you, you can see it says like 50,000 joules, which is a lot of power, right? Um, but if I go in here, it'll say biodiesels cannot be placed in that inventory. So you can't, you can't pour liquid, uh, liquid fuel into these things. So I looked at it. I'm not quite sure how it works yet. And it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Down here in my machine shop, uh, there's this thing. Combustion generator consumes most fuels to produce energy. So I've gone ahead and I've made the combustion engine, and then I ran out of steel. Some other people need steel right now to unlock like um, like electronics and industry and stuff like that so um but i have a feeling that these like if i go back up to combustion engine used for electronics generators so i'm thinking even if i made that generator and filled it up full of fuel that's not going to power this thing i think i think those still are going to have to take like coal or charcoal or something like that i think it's going to be the electronic stuff the factory Type stuff that um, that requires generators to run. So the good news is we're gonna have plenty of fuel because I've been doing it ahead of time. That is a very nice. Uh, so let's see what else we got going on up in here. Huh? Um, I want to show you. Cube has been doing some work. Oh, Cubulus. And uh, and then also Vortec has a, an expansion. Oh, and. We fixed the hole. The problem was, and I think they've hot fixed it so you can't do it anymore, uh, but just to let you guys know, there is, uh, when you made steel uh, before, you could actually carry it in your hand and place it down on the ground. Kind of like, you know, like wood or, or brick or anything. And that was causing, uh, like you couldn't see it, and that was corrupting the chunk that it was in. So <clears throat> the developers helped us out and cleared that up and then they hot fixed it so that wouldn't happen again. Corrugated steel you can you can make and place it around and we're going to have to do that eventually with electronics or industry or something. But this is Cube's place that he's pimped out. He's got his uh he started with this little bit and now he's got this because he's going to go into electronics. Got nice rooms. This looks gorgeous glorious uh he's got i made this lab but i don't really have a use for it so i gave it to him uh and that's where he can make a computer lab so there'll be some some kind of something something who knows what's in this we don't know if the end game is is how much of it is in and then of course he's got his storage what you got in here boy nothing what you got in here Ooh. Okay, got some modern windows. What you got in here? Ooh, all right. Very good. Very good. I approve of this message. All right, so, man, that's so much brick, too. And see, I think he could make his own brick, and he's got his, he's got his own little uh, business going on here. Oh, hello, copper. Got a little copper showing. Hey, your copper's showing. Right, and it keeps on going down and such. Ooh, and he's got a yeah. See, he's been making stuff. Uh huh, uh huh. We know. We see what's going on here. All right, <laughs> but that's that's the way to go. You know, if you need some help, you can do some little trading. Um, because you you can't be the master of everything, 
play it. You could be the semi master of a couple things. And being the jack of all trades isn't isn't the worst thing in the whole world in this game. Uh, so this is, if, if you haven't seen it, this is the blast furnace. Bum, bum, bum. This bit of brick down here has to come down uh, in order to act like a chimney. It's kind of weird. Uh, but let's see how much of his... Oh, he used a little bit. Awesome. Um, he, I, I helped him with make some charcoal yesterday because that was a big thing. And I was like, hey, if I'm going to steal your steel, then I'll, I'll give you a little something something. Uh, oh, corrugated steel uses iron ingot as well. Oh, interesting. And see here, this epoxy, right? That's the stuff that, uh, that I can make or an electronics person can make in my oil refinery. So bump, 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 that's how it works. And now with rebar, I'm gonna start learning casting and stuff like that so I can help out with the rebar because no one, no one here really knows casting. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good, right? Let's see, you got some steel in there? No, oh, there, here's my, my ax though. <laughs> I was wondering where I put that thing. Okay, so the one other thing that I, since I got the plastic, I was like, ooh, ooh, hey, guess what? I can finally learn advanced culinary. Don't get too excited because I have a feeling that there's actually no recipes in advanced culinary, okay? Um, I wanna see, ooh, someone's learning something. Let's see who learned. Who learned? I hear pages flipping. Who, who getting their learn on? What are you? Oh, industry skill book, yes. Oh yes, that's nice. That is really nice. What do we got in here? Storage, all right. Let's see, is, did Q put electronics? Yes, okay. Ba -da -da -da. I wanna see what electronics does for us. There's engineering, aha, uh -huh, okay. So with electronics, circuit, electric motor, wall lamp, fiberglass, gold flakes. Uh-huh. Okay. An electric wall lamp sounds amazing. And a street lamp, hello. Yes, that's awesome, okay. And then we've got computer science, which unlocks a laser. Ooh, freaking laser beams. Okay, that's cool. All right, so let us go and check this out. I had to, because Cube was using, oh, excuse me, blah, blah. Cube is using that one and, and it took him like nine hours to make his, uh, his scroll. Here's mine. Oh, look at this, this is cool. Uh, what do you got in your store? Nothing yet. What do you got in your store? That's the worst store ever. <laughs> no, it looks real nice, though. Uh, I had to use Sir Kaz's one. So let's see. We go in here. You're done, son. And check this one out. It took, where is it? Advanced. It took 20 hours. 44 Elk Wellington, 44 plastic, and 20 hours, but I have a feeling, see it says molecular gastronomy. I have a feeling there's nothing in there. But let's go look really quick. I'll put it in the chest afterwards, but let's check it. I highly doubt. Oh, see it says, mm. discover first and it, and it says upgrade 200 points, but there ain't nothing. There ain't nothing, cause, and I'll tell you why I know that. Um, because if you look at the shops, you can actually see everything that's in the game, every item. And there's only one recipe right now that I know, that I don't know, that's what I meant, that could possibly be, oh, that's not where I wanna put it, that could possibly be a molecular gastronomy thing uh, but it's actually an admin cheaty thing, and it's uh, ecoilant, so it's kind of like that soylent stuff, a soy-based drink, 
and it's so good for you that it gives you 4,000 skill points per day. But the only way you can get it is by cheating it in as, a, as an admin. So unfortunately, uh, but let's see, let's, I'll show you what I mean. If we go in here, go to my stove, hit that up. Um, and then you can see this is all, it's, it's a uh, colored. So like this is all tailoring stuff. This is like some building type of stuff and you're looking through. See, but look, man, polishing station. There's a uh, industrial robot. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right? Crazy stuff going on. Um, and then here's all the food. So I've looked through all of these and none of them, none of them are anything that we don't know about except for this little guy and it's equivalent. And it's 500 of each. Oh. Dude, you had a couple of those. You'd be sitting pretty, but we can't, we can't, uh, you know what I could do? Let's sell one. Oh, a hundred. Let's do 999. Just freak people out and they'll be like sold out. People will be like, what? I want it so bad. <laughs> That's a good idea. All right. So that being said, I do have 349 points to use on something. So let's do that together. Let's figure it out. Um, my smithing, I'm already pretty good at making the gears and stuff like that, um, but I think we wanted to try to get rebar so we can make some, uh, some, what do you call it, reinforced concrete. So I'm thinking, looking around, cooking, we've got everything we need, we're fine there. Uh, masonry, I don't think there's any, anybody needs my help on that. If we look at engineering, um, I mean, I could, I could learn it. Well, it's only one level, but I don't know if that would help anybody. You know what I'm saying? Now, I think, I think for right now, I'm going to go for smithing. This is for the greater good because, um, Biffa, uh, Biffa said that he's not, he's not going to learn, uh, or he's not going to play on the server anymore. It's too grindy. And plus he's going on a trip. So like. You can see uh, Cube has got it. He's got level one. I'm going to go ahead and hit it. So now we're level two. We can learn rebar. Four. And oh, there we go. So now we're maxed out. Whoa. But level five is steel rivets. And I can't learn it? It's for real. Wait a minute. Okay, let's go check that out. Hey, yo, check that out. Sorry, it's a little dark. I should bring a torch. There's a way to make a torch in a campfire. I should, definitely should do that. Um, okay, the, the way to make charcoal, the easiest way I've seen is you have to, you know, you grow it. It's a little slow at first, just to show you guys while I'm getting over there. Um, so like, you'll take, take some logs, Turn them into lumber. So right now my lumber is uh, uh, like I get two lumber per log. And then you just throw that as much as you want in the blast furnace and it gives you a bunch of charcoal. It's pretty good. What was I going for though? Cast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to look at the stupid uh, furnace because you can make steel rivets. I don't know if anything requires steel rivets yet. But let's check it. Let's chickity check it before we riggedy wreck it. And I don't. And let's see, rivet. So we can make a rivet, rivet. Yeah, sure enough, this says requires casting five. Huh. So maybe no one needs it yet. That's that's my guess. But I can make rebar. Oh, which takes a steel. Ugh, I cannot believe it. Wow, that sucks. Oy, that sucks. <laughs> All right, fellas, that's going to do it for me for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see me try to uh, try to learn or, or invest in. Um, I'm thinking uh, either electronics or industry. 
because we'll need a couple people on that anyway. We don't know what industry opens up just yet. We'll find out in a little bit once Mojo unlocks it. Um, and then we kind of see like what is available on this stuff. So circuits and motors and, and junk. I'm sure these two are going to depend on each other quite a bit. But just let me know in the comments where you want to see this go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how often a video will be made on this. I think because we are kind of in game, it's going to go a little bit slower than normal. And we got some people. I know Dahl and Ty are trying to help with uh, steel production now. So we'll see how that goes uh, because that's definitely gonna be a major bottleneck for us. But that's doing it for me, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like on the video. Helps me out so very, very much. And until next time, take care, brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.